Good day everyone and welcome to another creative episode. Thank you all for joining me. Absolute pleasure to be here with you today. In today's episode I'm going to show you two different sunflower artworks and also we are going to learn about the importance of mother colour. If you've missed the video from my visit at the sunflower farm which has inspired the artworks today I'll enclose a link below or you can click on the end of this video to watch that episode. This was an amazing day. The colour yellow is my energy source. It's a strange emotion to explain. It's like something that has always been with you that is so familiar that it feels like home. I grew up in a small village in Eastern Europe, raised by grandmothers who loved flowers. In fact, I don't remember spring or summer where colour was absent. In my adult life, this childhood energy is lovingly carried and very much loved. It truly is amazing how the colour yellow has made its presence throughout most of my life. Even I'm surprised the amount of yellow that I have photographed and or I happen to wear. Most of the artworks that I have created have been in yellow or have had a yellow tonal foundation. I am reminded of a powerful verse from A Course in Miracles that mentions, and I quote, Who would attempt to fly with tiny wings of a sparrow when the mighty power of an eagle has been given him? End quote. Wouldn't we all want our children to benefit from such simple yet powerful teacher as colour and nature and allow them to fly like eagles in their adulthood? What differences are you noticing in your current lifestyle, your home and your experience? It is clear that the colours we encounter as children can have a profound impact on our development and continue to shape us throughout our lives. Full disclosure, I do have, I think, a small obsession with the colour yellow. So um, buckle up everybody. Picasso has certainly had his blue period and I think I have entered officially, if not probably years ago, into my yellow period. I have totally uh, surprised myself just how much uh, yellow I paint with and also how much I love wearing the color yellow. So this was a certain um, happy accident, let's just put it that way, discovering and going through the, to the sunflower farm. I want to give you guys you know, a, a real heads up here, you know, just in case you get sick of the sunflowers, there might be a couple of more artworks coming through in the color yellow, possibly more sunflowers. You know, you've been warned. Um, buckle up everyone, you've aligned with sunshine and one happy yellow creating artist. The sunflowers that I collected from the farm was just absolutely magical and I really do love to explore just how much I can repurpose them and how I can display them, even take them as far as I can towards the end of their life. This really gives me a lot of joy to keep them around as much as I can. 
Um, here I am repurposing the display further. They are at the end of their life, so I wanted to extend their time for at least a couple more days. I also wanted to thank everyone for all of their kindness, the messages, and I really do appreciate you, you know, interacting with me more than I, I can actually explain. And certainly, if you do have any questions, I will absolutely do the best that I can to help um, from my own experience and what I've learned along the way. Also, I love that you guys wanting to see more detailed palette work. Um, I do do my best to give you as much of that as well, but I think it's a lot of value to show you the beginning and ending of a painting, which is why a lot of the artworks I give you a speed up version. If I was to show you the whole process, I really don't want to keep you guys here because that would mean that you would be watching an eight hour video, which is exceptionally long, um, or possibly you know, you'll be at a two day workshop with me, which actually is not a bad idea, but that's another story. But yeah, this is why I do go and upload or include a speed up version and then a small amount of uh, showing in the palette work because I think that it gives you a, a, a all round feeling of how the painting is progressing and then the small amount of movement um, in, in terms of how the palette, palette knife moves. Certainly again, if you wanna know more about the knife, there are videos that I've done in the past that highlight about the knife and how it moves and how how it operates and the flexibility of it all, different type of palette knives and you know I encourage you to watch those videos and then of course marry everything together because they all have you know small little nuggets along the way that you can collect and incorporate in your daily art practice. So let's get into the artworks. The first artwork is the singular sunflower. So I wanted to show a very simple process of painting one sunflower. Then I'll go into the discussion of the importance of mother color. And lastly, finish on the final sunflower composition in a white vase. Now both paintings have been painted with a combination of using brush and palette. That's just the evolution of my techniques over the years. I encourage everyone to again practice daily and paint daily. It's the only way that you will discover your unique art signature. So never, ever, ever give up on um, your creative process. So let's get to it. Let's start with the first painting and find out and see how I've completed the sunflowers.
So here's an example of a color wheel that I created. Um, one is in its purest form, so it's basically just mixing primary colors and creating a color wheel. And the other color wheel is with the addition of a mother color, which is this one up here. And so by creating a mother color, uh, this is mixed basically with every single tone that we've got here. It unifies the composition and holds it in place just like a magnet. So you've seen paintings that sometimes, you know, have this delicious feel and you think, how did they achieve that tone? So using this process, each new tone that you mix, by adding the mother color, you are getting each tone to bond together. Okay, now here's an example of a, uh, value chart. So again, this is the uh, blue color that's basically reduced just with white. And then in this section here, I've added the mother color. And you can see the difference between this is now a tint and this has become a tone, so a little bit more muted. But it's ultimately unified all the different values by adding just that one mother color within each segment. Okay, so here's the definition of what a mother color is. Now, a mother color is a chosen color of your choice that is mixed with every color in your palette. It basically unifies your composition and holds it in place just like a magnet. Now, what you're seeing here is I've just taken permanent magenta and titanium white and created this new color value. So if, of course, you can paint with that, that's more than okay. But in order to unify a painting to basically hold it in place like a magnet, what a mother color does is it gives it that holistic I'm holding hands with every other color on the board. So here's the pure color that we've mixed, but permanent magenta and titanium white. Now if I take a portion of that, and in this case, this is my mother color. It's basically an old gray green paint that I had from yesterday from painting the sunflowers. If I take a little bit of that mother color and introduce it in this pure form, you can see straight away that it has changed the color and it has changed the value of this particular color tone. It's important to remember that when we mix color, we aren't really too concerned when using mother colors that the value and the temperature has changed on the board because each new tone that you mix, um, you are getting um, basically, you're, you're bonding them together and the measurement that you need to make isn't what you've created on your board, but really the measurement against the last color value that you placed on your canvas. So you would take this particular color value, hold it against your last mark on your painting, and then assess, is it the right color tone? Is it in the right value, in the right temperature? But ultimately, by adding a mother color, you've already given, your step, given yourself that step further to um, unify your artwork. So here's the pure value, what it looks like on canvas. And there it is there, okay. And now this is the same value with the mother color. Okay. And you can see the real difference in terms of how much we've changed the temperature and the value of that tone. Remember that um, by adding the mother color, you are getting each tone to bond together. It's like introducing a new friend into a group and they all start to play together. Remember the, I'm just gonna zoom over, remember the, the um, plum that I created? that was basically created on that same principle where I've introduced a mother color in every single tone that I placed on this um, uh, board or craft paper. So that's why they have this 
you know, unified bond. They're like a magnet. They're all playing with each other. So each time I placed a new tone, I would hold it against the last one that I did and therefore measure it um, against what I have here and not what I've created on the actual mixing board. Okay, so let's have a look how these three colors behave once we add this warm gray into the mix, the mother color. So here's the original color that I mixed already off camera. Now let's just add a dab, same dab in every, every tone. There's the first tone here. Now, okay, let's go to the next one down is the orange same amount. We'll add in that. Okay, and same thing with the yellow. Same amount of the mother color in the yellow. Okay. Now here's a, this is a really, really good example because you can tell straight away that the original or just the, the color and white, cad orange and white, cadmium yellow and white, you can see just how bright they are, how pigmented. The moment we added the mother color, watch, I mean, witness these beautiful magnetic connections. I mean, they are now all in that same value. They all um, can be uh, placed in the same area. Let's say, for example, that that there are shadows that you're creating next to a house and a tree, they can all be used together in unison. If these top uh, values were to be added together, you can tell that they are going to pretty much stand out independently. So I think it's pretty clear that using a mother color unifies your artwork. Like I said, it creates um, you know, a bond between one another. They basically are getting together like good little friends playing in a playground. So let's see again what this looks like on our um, painting craft paper and how they behave away from the actual mixing board. Okay, so here is the, I'm going to align that, there we go. So here is the mother colour. That's what we mixed together which was um, lamp black cadmium yellow and what did I say a little bit of permanent magenta but again you can create whatever you'd like so there's our mother color here is the original colors that we mixed which is the permanent magenta and cadmium white then we've got cadmium orange and white there you go. That's quite bright, isn't it? And cadmium yellow and white. So again, notice how different they look from the board that we mix them on to how they behave on the actual painting surface for, you know, pretend this is where your composition is going to go. All of these do not marry well together or independently. They just haven't got anything to unify them. But once we added the mother color, watch the behavior. So there is the permanent magenta white with the mother color. So that's been added into that, which gives us that. Then we have the cadmium orange with the mother color and the cadmium yellow and the mother color. So the unification between all of these is quite clear. And remember, when you are painting, yes, the mother color is going to change the value from the um, color that you've mixed. But what you'll be doing is you're going to use what you've mixed on your board and you're going to assess it against the last mark that you made on your composition. What you mix on your board will be different, but your measurement should be on the last mark of your painting. And this will make an incredible, incredible difference. Mother colors, I think, have been something that are not talked about a lot. But when I discovered this uh, probably about 20 years ago, it certainly changed the way that I paint. 
and allowed me to create a much better cohesive bond in all my artworks. I hope you enjoyed that guys. Let me know what you think and please do give this a, a practice and um, have a go at it in your studio and see how your painting process begins to unify, how it starts to change.
Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed those two wonderful sun-filled sunflower compositions. And I also hope that the discussion of the mother color and the importance of a mother color and how I use it in my artwork has given you a bit more of a, a wider epistemology on the importance of unifying um, your compositions. I think for me, it's invaluable, so I do apply it in every process. I also want to remind everyone that small steps may that you take every day may not seem like they're important until you find yourself in front of your destination and you have arrived at exactly what you intended. There are incredible values in small steps and these are what I refer to my nuggets. So I encourage you all to continue to learn even if you think that uh, a process, a, a, an art idea has no value, in a weird way it is teaching you something. Remember, while you are in this world, you are the light of the world. Amplify, ignite, expand that creative, authentic signature that is you because you matter, you are worth it, and there is value in your inner creative light. Until next time, guys. Bye. See ya.